video I'm going to explain to you the yield keyword in C-sharp. So what is the yield keyword? Yield keyword is a, is a keyword which is used to uh, create an iterator and it, is, it provides us with a very simple syntax. Iterator is something that we can iterate over. So for example, I enum I enumerable of integer, so a collection basically. We can iterate over it, so go, which means going from the uh, first element to the second, to the third, and fourth, and so on. So here I have a very simple static method, which returns a collection I enumerable of integer. It is named get collection, and we are using the yield keyword yield return one yield return two. As you can see we are not really defining and initializing a new collection uh, because using yield keyword we don't have to do that. So let's see how this code is going to perform. I'm going to start the, the debugger and here we have the for each loop which we can used to iterate through every element which is returned from the get collection method and now let's see step over and here we have the first element which is one it will be displayed into the console window and then Instead of stepping over, I'm going to step into, and as, I, as you can see, the method getCollection stops at the line 19, which is return, yield returning the value of 2. So basically, at each time that we are asking this method to return a new element, it will go over all the yield statements and it will return the defined values in the correct order. So firstly it returned 1, and the second time it returned 2. So how is this different from just basic collection, initializing basic collection with the values of 1 and 2? Um, the first uh, important thing to understand is that it's very simple. We don't have to initialize an additional variable. We can just yield return the values that we want to return. And the second very important thing that we need to realize is that we don't really have to return all these values. So for example, I might use the link statement. So let's say var x equals to get collection and then first we are using the first method of the system link let's um, import this namespace so what the first method does it will return the first element of the collection so right here it will return the one but what is very important is that the second value won't be even computed so if we had a very long and complex computing method right here which took for example one minute for each element we can uh, save this time if we for example need only the first element so right now let's debug this code and you will see what i mean So we are having the get collection dot first. Let's step into. And as you can see, the get collection method will return the value of one, and then the it, the method is escaped. So as we have the first element of this collection returned, the method is completed, and the second element. And that we that is defined with the yield keyword won't be even computed the the program won't even reach this line so if we had a very complex computation for these values we could save some time if in some use cases we only needed the first or 
or last uh, element. So uh, this is a very important uh, use case for uh, yield re return for, for the usage of it. Um, I hope that this quick introduction has helped you to, to understand this concept and I hope to see you soon.